They say there's a saying in sport that there is no finishing line and uh, I've always said it's been a, a bit of a journey for me playing for Leeds Rhinos from being a young kid and uh, I'd be really honoured to be going into my 19th professional season so it's really exciting the fact that we've uh, bounced back from the adversities of 2016 to win a grand final 2017 some new players coming uh, from outside the club obviously from within the club as well I think it'd be a, a really exciting time for us in uh, in our development and also with a new ground I think it's fantastic that we've got the Emerald Stadium that's going to change over the course of the next two or three years and uh, we're finding ourselves going into a really exciting time. I think squad numbers are quite important they're certainly for some of the younger people wanting to be to be uh, promoted uh, it's always nice to to see you uh, get that that first sort of 70 number mine was way back in 2017 but it probably took me seven or eight years to get there uh, really pleased for Liam Sutcliffe obviously coming in he's a fantastic player uh, had a few injuries in the last couple of years so it's been very difficult for him to get some sort of consistency and to really fulfill his potential but uh, I think he's right up there we all know how good a player he is and uh, that that starting centre shirt is fully deserved but we also know how diverse Liam Sutcliffe's um, talents are, he can play six, can play full back, he can play everywhere and uh, he will be very much a big part of uh, that diverse team that we've got at Leeds Rhinos. Just walking out in that blue and amber shirt has always meant a great deal. I think for me it's not about me, uh, it's about the club, it's about the team and whoever's going to you know, bring the best ingredients to that team as a captain should be the captain and uh, you know, I wouldn't want it to be me just because it's me. Uh, of course it'd be a massive honour but I think I'm at an age now where I'm going to offer what I'm going to offer regardless whether I've got an armband on or not and I've always said I'm more of a, a prophet than a priest. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit more of an abstract type guy who talks uh, prophetically about what we need to do, where we've been and, and use signs and symbols and uh, metaphors from seasons gone by and I'll still offer that regardless of whether I'm captain or not. I think Joel Moon's been the, the revelation in the last two or three years for me, just unreal as a six and it's funny because I didn't really see it coming, he's always been a, a great centre, been able to get the ball, skip out, he's got some great feet, some footwork, some uncanny footwork actually, it looks like he's always falling over or his shoelaces are tied together and it really uh, causes problems in the uh, the defensive line for the opposition but also he's got great vision and he's got some great hands as well and it, it very much looks like one of these stereotypical Aussie Brad Fittler type halfbacks and he's fitting really really well there at six I think Brian McDermott loves him the boys love him playing there and as somebody runs them lines he's a real threat because when he shows them goals he causes all kinds of chaos